Hey everyone, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel. Today it is time to watch episode 7 of Agatha All Along and I am so excited to figure out what happened to Lilia and Jen to see the Wizard of Oz trial to figure out where the heck Rio went and just see where else the story is going. I believe there are it's this episode and then episodes 8 and 9 come out on Halloween and then that's all that's left which is kind of sad that we're getting so close to the end but I'm also very excited to see where this goes and see what this kind of means for the future of the MCU and these characters. So, slay. That's stunning. I'll get a nosebleed trying that hard to read my mind. I'm not. Oh. Where's Rio? Not that question. <laughs> I'm your mom's ex, best friend. I'll get what I want at the end of the road. She's not my mom. I have a mom. Is Wanda Maximoff really dead? Yes. No. Maybe. Who knows? I don't think so. Hey, you want straight answers? Ask a straight lady. <laughs> Iconic. Now I wonder if you've ever been on the road at all. I know she hasn't. I've been saying that since the beginning. I have so much to say and the scene isn't even over yet. I know she hasn't been on the road. That's my guess. I think, I don't think she thought that the road was real. And I think she wasn't like, until now she wasn't really desperate enough to try the road. So now she's trying it under the guise of getting her powers back. I think maybe she thinks that's why she's doing it. But I think in reality, what she's missing is her son so that's what's gonna be at the end of the road for her, whether it's actually him or just like answers or maybe like more what she's looking for is kind of like resolution to a lot of things. I feel like she's gotten a lot of almost like unintentional therapy. I also wanna point out that the leaves are yellow, like yellow brick road. Also, I love that it's like the Wicked Witch of the West castle, love that. If we see flying monkeys, that would be a 10 out of 10. Also, I feel like Agatha is like really trying to reconnect with Billy. Like I think she really started to care for him during this journey. I think he's kind of the first person other than Rio who gave her a chance in a way. So I think that's why it like hurts even more now that he's being so cold. Hearing Billy say Wanda isn't his mother hurts, but makes sense because he doesn't have any memories before the accident. So for all intensive purposes, Mrs. Kaplan, I forget her first name, is his mother because that's the only mother that he's really ever known. I do wonder if he will get any memories back and he'll kind of have to have like almost like dual personalities in a way. I don't really know. Um, or if they'll just keep him not really remembering anything before because I feel like that's kind of an easier way to do it in a narrative sense. <laughs> Why is he Maleficent? Um, <laughs> she's based on me, you know. Prove it. Queen. No time like the present. Your path winds out of time. Interesting, because Billy's path does wind out of time. Chariot? Yeah. Kind it's of. It's literally written on the card. Right. And you have these sphinxes with you, and they represent your... Dueling interests, I think. Mysteriousness. Oh, you have a real gift. Okay, this card hasn't really come up much for me, so. Jesus. Oh. That's crazy. I know this one, it's about deception. But and it's control. reversed, isn't it? Check, check. But it's reversed. Any, many, miny, no! You very clearly said we had to follow this gross tunnel and look for shelving. Shelving? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Neither do I. Kicked us off the road. The son of the Scarlet Witch kicked us off the road. What? She said what? You're filthy. Yeah, fittingly, you and I had a very grounding heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Aw. Us? Really? Okay, rude. Five minutes ago, Lily, would never say something like that. Kooky. Which is it? Am I wispy or am I? Oh my God, so we're gonna get Alice. It's gonna show it to us all Alice, of the- Alice, don't try to save Agatha. Uh, yes, I love this plan. I, I... 
Ah, capisco. You are visiting. How long has it been? Centuries. A long time for you. <laughs> you look at me and you see some doddering old broad. Well, tell me what more I should see when I look at you. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean it. Tell me. It must be so awful to live that way. The flow of time is an illusion, Jen. Most people don't realize that. Why is it getting worse? Maybe because I'm close to the end. Ah! Oh my god, that scared me. The? What are you doing? Did you not see imminent impalement in your future? No. We are not cool, teenager. Damn, using his full name. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would have used it to save Alice. This is trippy. <laughs> You're reading my mind. Only because it's so loud. No offense. I remember you now. Aren't you furious? I mean, always, but collectively, we've moved on. <laughs> At your prompting, Dory. Back off, Agatha. She's having a day. What are you wearing? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> what am I wearing? Make it stop! I want it my car! I hated this the first time! Please be weird again! <laughs> this is crazy, seeing it from her perspective. Is that Teen's book? I wish Lilia was here. That's great timing. Relax, baby. We're cool. We are? Hey, things are looking up. Oh my god. <sighs> my task is to see. Who massacred this spread? Hey, she did. <laughs> Ask a question. What does it matter? Proper tarot takes time and care. And leads to large gaping wound. Am I William or am I Billy? That's a very good question. I just said that, like, if he is dueling stuff. You are the magician. That makes sense. You have enormous potential. Joy. Reunion. Family. You know, we really hated each other from the beginning, but now... I love you guys. What, what are you missing? Why are you on this journey? I didn't want to come. Then why did you? To get my power back. Is he gone? Where did he go? <laughs> Where did he go? That you died? That I saw it coming? Our entire coven wiped out by a fever? I saw it? I told you? But it didn't change anything. That's sad. That comes for us all. Yes. What will you do with your remaining time? Jen, wake up. The son of the Scarlet Witch telepathically kicked us off the road. We sank beneath the surface, and now we're here. I have a lot of questions. Slay. I'm telling you no, because in a few minutes, I'm not going to remember any of this. Okay. <laughs> I hate them. They're so creepy. I'm going to take this path toward my trial. Agatha and Billy need my help. I hope you'll join me. Why? Because you are my sister in the craft. I know what I did wrong. My path winds out of time. I was reading for the wrong person. I am the traveler. Am the queen of cups. Now you see. Empathetic, intuitive. I love this. Three of Pentacles. Collaboration, community, singular voices waiting to harmonize. I needed you. The coven. My coven. The Knight of Wands. High Priestess. Immense spirit, three of swords. Heartbreak, sorrow, grief, the windfall. Tower reversed. Disaster, destruction, sudden upheaval, but reversed. 
It means miraculous transformation. And that's Tommy on the card. The destination. Slay. Who is that? Don't you recognize me, Lilia? Death. In the end, all roads lead to me. Rio is. I love her theme music. Like, Rio's theme song is awesome. Listen, I know I should have a bigger reaction to that reveal, but I'm not surprised at all. I knew that she was death, like Lady Death, so it's nice to have it confirmed though, and. The music is dope, the makeup was dope, and I love the reveal like using the tarot cards and how all the tarot cards like have the characters on it. That is so fun. Rio, she's deaf. She's what? The original Green Witch. Is it true? What can I say? I like the bad boys. I'm not going before you. You're the path ahead, Jennifer. Lilia, I loved being a witch. No! It's gonna make me cry. Destruction. Sudden upheaval. Like the tower of right. This is so cool. Slay. Let us begin. Y'all, I can't believe it ended like that. I'm so glad Lilia got her moment in the sun. She is a badass and she destroyed all the Salem 7, which I love. Um, I also feel like what she was missing at the end of the road was peace, maybe, you know? Also in the tarot cards in the tower, it looks like it's Billy and Tommy falling out of the tower. So I'm assuming it is gonna be Tommy at the end of the road, which I'm not mad about. Like that's gonna be really sweet and really fun. Was that the last trial? Cause technically they didn't have the Green Witch trial, right? What I also really like about the whole like Green Witch heart situation is like the fact that Lilia drew the black heart and technically it works for every single person who has held that position in the coven because it could have been Mrs. Hart. Obviously she's Sharon Davis, but you know, Mrs. Hart and then could also represent Rio and death and then it can also represent Billy so it's like kind of cool that the last name on the list like kind of represented everybody so I'm curious if there'll be one last trial that Billy has to do or if they'll be off the road next episode I'm assuming that every person who's on the road has to do a trial um and I'm like are they just going to be thrown back into the real world are they going to be thrown back into Westview, like Agatha's house where they left from. I still think we might get Wanda back. We'll definitely get Tommy back, but I still feel like if we don't get Wanda back, I feel like we'll at least get confirmation that she's not dead. Whether that's a post credit scene or in the last episode, I'm not sure, but I definitely think we'll have some answers about her and the fact that, in my opinion, I think she's alive. So I think that we'll get some answers with that and then we'll like get Tommy back, actually. Um, and then I hope we get some answers about like Nicholas Scratch. Very sad. Like if the people who are dead are actually dead, that's pretty sad. Um, but also people had to die to show that it was serious. You know, I feel like not everyone can survive the road. Otherwise, like why would it be so feared? You know, um, I'm glad the Salem Seven are dead because I hated them. They freaked me out every time they came on the screen. 
I'm happy I don't have to see them ever again. I do hope that we learn more about Rio and Agatha and we see like flashbacks and see like what happened with them and then with the whole like Nicholas Scratch thing, the Darkhold and Mephisto, that would be really fun to look into. Um, it has been a ride and I think it's so perfect that the show is ending on Halloween because it has just been the perfect spooky season show. I'm so glad that it has basically like ran for the entirety of spooky season. It's just been a lot of fun. I love the way that they portray magic in this show. I really liked the way that they portrayed it in Multiverse of Madness because they really played up the like horror movie factor of it all and gave magic sort of like a sinister air to it. Um, which I've, I've said this before, but I feel like a lot of media like romanticizes it. So it's cool to see it like portrayed in a different way. And I think they kind of continue to do that in the show. There's like an eerie horror sense to it, but there also is in some parts like a whimsical sense to it. And I like that they show that because it's both like there's good and bad aspects of it. And I like, I think it's cool how they portray that to the audience. Also, it's more like raw. I don't know if this makes any sense, but like when they're doing like the actual spells, I feel like when we see like Wanda do magic and Billy do magic, the chaos magic is very much like a part of them. So it's not, it doesn't always look like magic magic, but when they're doing like the rituals where they're like making the broomsticks and like they're brewing potions, it's much more like the like getting your hands dirty type of magic, you know, which I think is really cool to see because we haven't really seen that. I feel like in the MCU so far because obviously Wanda's magic part of her. We didn't even really call her a witch in the MCU until WandaVision and then Doctor Strange's powers are more like mathematical if that makes sense. I know that that's like you know that's how I would describe it. It's more like it's a part of him too you know and it's not like he's not sitting there like brewing potions like he does spells but it's it's more otherworldly I guess whereas like the magic in this show feels more like grounded. Maybe that's just a me thing, but I just think it's cool the different ways that they've portrayed it in the MCU throughout like Doctor Strange and now this show. I just think it's really cool, um, but I'm excited to see how this ends. I'm excited to see what this means too for the future of the MCU. I hope we see and continue to see Rio slash Lady Death. I hope this isn't the end of Agatha. Obviously, I'm hoping we continue to see Billy and such, but I'm sure we will. Let me know down below what you guys thought of the episode. Let me know what your predictions are for the last two episodes. So sad. Let me know what you think is going to be waiting at the end of the road for each character. Um, give it a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. It makes me very happy. Helps my channel out a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on Wednesday with another video. Later, Gators. Bye.